Welcome and thank you for joining us for week 16 of the 2020 Web Center Olympics. Uh, as you know, the past couple of weeks we've been featuring our guest speakers who are experienced and top Web Center owners as well as our certified Web Center trainers. And they are going to give us uh, each their perspective on a potential client that they have worked with, uh, someone that they've taken from their candidate list and brought them all the way to being a client and following up and being a great account manager. Uh, but it's great for web center owners like yourselves to listen to um, many different perspectives and different trainers and web center owners. Uh, so you get a, a good variety of how they've all implemented a similar process, but obviously there's different prospects, there's different candidates and there's different personalities. Uh, so the fact is that you don't have to do it any one way just as long as you're following some type of structure, it'll help you succeed. So this evening, we've got an incredible uh, Web Center trainer. Uh, this is his first year training with us. He was a Web Center challenge winner uh, when we first spoke about bringing him on board and, and uh, having him become one of our certified Web Center trainers and has filled a great need for us in the western part of the United States. So um, without further ado, what I'll do is I'm going to turn this over to tonight's guest presenter. Uh, he'll be able to give you some insight into the Web Center program, what he's done, some tips, some tricks, and focus on one of his uh, case studies as well. So without further ado, please help me welcome Mr. Dan DeLong. Thanks, Jason. Um, I always love uh, listening to you talk about me. Um, it's really, <laughs> really great uh, to actually be here. I really am honored uh, to, to, to be able to, to, to present this uh, to you. Um, but um, yeah, I mean, my story with, with Market America and the Web Center division, um, it was really funny because I took a training uh, way back in, in, in 2018 uh, and I was like, this this would be great if I just didn't have a full time job. And wouldn't you know, next month uh, I got laid off from that job. So it just segued really nicely. It's you know, it's one of those things where you you are um, careful what you wish for because you just might get it. <laughs> um, but I love this division because it's so robust. And the, the the thing about it is, is that there's, I mean, you could live entirely in in the web center division and never touch anything else but there's all those other things um so i wanted to talk a little bit about uh one of my clients um and move forward here okay so the um the client i want to talk about is it's a nonprofit called look save a life um brendan who was the uh the executive director of the of the look of look save a life that's actually him uh, on on the front page of the of the website, um, it's a it's a bicycle. Ad, it started out as a bicycle advocacy group, but then ultimately turned into um, you know a a, a, a um, an organization that that really wants to foster uh, safe driving or non distracted driving and and protect all that use the the roads, whether it be a tow truck driver or a first responder. Um, cyclists and pedestrians alike, um, and what they were what they were struggling with was that um, they had a, a, you know because with with nonprofits um, you know think they try to do things on on uh, as very economical as as possible. So they had one person that knew how to create a website and he did it for them and um, was doing everything uh, for them. Um, however, it was it turned out to be a bottleneck. Uh, so I, I started uh, serving on the board of directors uh, for the organization. I, I uh, volunteered and, and supported and helped them because uh, I, I, I'm a, not an avid cyclist, but um, you know I do bike, <laughs> and um, you know I, I felt the um, the the need uh, to help and. Um, so I, I volunteered. I, I, you know, they had booths, and I, I, I joined, uh, joined with them. I, I rode. Uh, There's a tour to Tucson uh, that they use for fundraising. Uh, helped them out a lot, and um, we. Uh, what what really happened is that uh, we realized that they wanted to make some changes to their website, and they, um, you know, there was there was one person that 
that could make those changes. Um, they did provide me access to be able to to try to make those changes for them. But again, it was like you know being thrust into the deep end of the pool, and uh, you know I I didn't know how to make those changes happen. Uh, so trying to make the trying to make those changes in something that you know has a theme and and already has the the coding already in there, um, it was it was pretty challenging. Um, so what we did was we we you know they finally came to terms with realizing that there was because there was a, that video on the on the front page and it stopped playing like it was supposed to play automatically and it stopped playing and um, you know the website now didn't look like they wanted it to to be so they took that opportunity to really have a a meeting and and we we sat down and we really just made a wish list of what it is that they wanted to get out of their website you know we always talk about um, you know what is it that you that you want your website to do, and um, really that was just uh, an opportunity for them to to really think outside the box. And um, uh, Brendan actually had a uh, an, there was another um, nonprofit that he wanted to model the website after. So uh, he he really defaulted to that as like I want my web you know the website to to have this and you know just like this website and I want it to be able to do this just like this website. So we really utilized that as a as a as a benchmark uh to to really make that that list of of requirements. Um, but what really made the them easy you know to decide to to do the website was the fact that we have 24-7 support anybody you know could uh, could can contact and in and make the changes it wasn't just bottlenecked to to one person um so that was really the the the, the feature that um that really sold them on on deciding to to, to make this happen um so we we had a, an appointment and that's when they realized that that there was a bottleneck in actually getting things things done with their current website um, and they realized that they were getting what they paid for. Um, you know, there's, you know, when you think of the grand scheme of things, you have, uh, you know, cheap, free, or I'm sorry, cheap, fast, and good. And you can only get to really choose two of those in, in any of those things. And they were getting it cheap and fast, uh, but it really wasn't good. Um, but really what made them ultimately decide is that they could, that they could take this opportunity to make all the changes uh, that they wanted all at once. Um, so ultimately, what what they ended up going with was a professional design with e-commerce, because one of the other ways that they raise funds is by selling apparel. Uh, so we we utilized that, to, and, and actually there were more pages, um, you know, with the the professional design package um, than they could actually use. You know, they they, they came back and they're like. Uh, you know, you have a you have a few more pages if you want us to design them, and we kind of ran out of ideas of <laughs> what we could do. Um, and then, in in addition to that, um, they they are an active blog. They have an active blog, and what we uh, decided to do as an additional way to raise funds uh, for the organization is institute the APN uh, widget uh, on their blog. Um, and actually, I do have it uh, up over here. Uh, so I actually want to show that here, um, and it it comes off really nicely um, because we can actually utilize you know shop.com with products that are relevant to the to the story in in the blog. Uh, so every time that somebody comes to the the website, the the APN widget goes out and finds new products. So it's it's a it's a really great way for them, and of course, no cost to them to be able to to utilize that. Um, so um, after launch, um, I had Brendan come to my uh, BNI meeting to give a testimonial, and what we actually did because this was just a couple months uh, weeks ago, um, and because they're using uh, Zoom, um, I actually did a feature presentation with Brendan, and we are going to utilize that. Uh, interview on on their website, so we put it up on their YouTube channel, and then we're going to put that back into their uh, into their website in a in a future blog post to talk about you know his story uh, because he does have a very 
uh, inspirational uh, story, not just of overcoming adversity because he was struck by a distracted driver, uh, but he also forgave that individual and had an opportunity to, to, to talk to that uh, individual and, and come to terms. Um, and, and how did it really improve their business? Uh, because now it's, it's really, we can now leverage the website to drive more donations, sales, and, and sponsors. Uh, one of the things that the board um, actually was, was struggling with is that, um, you know, we want to go to, they want to go to various, um, you know, local businesses, um, you know, like car, um, you know, car sales and, and those types of things and to become in, in partnership uh, with, you know, something against dis distracted driving and, and bring that as a, as an opportunity for, for sponsorship and, and to help raise funds. Um, but their their website, their current website, prior to to coming to to, to MA Web Centers, really just wasn't um, something that they wanted to put out there as as a way to you know drum that up. And, and now they feel confident uh, that they can you know go to those uh, to those local businesses and be able to um, drive drive that do donation and, and sponsorship opportunity. Um, so that's that's really the 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 case study of of what I wanted to talk about uh, today. Um, I did want to talk a little bit about also what my experience has been, especially in this uh, you know this last few months uh, with with growing my business and and a way that I have really kind of um, keyed into that is through the web intern uh, option because um, if you don't know. Um, you know the idea of the the internship program is is a, is a way for you to be able to duplicate uh, your web center business uh, while building you know the the unfranchised business. Um, and so what I had done is I had posted uh, uh, on my Facebook business page a a job opening, um, and this was right when you know a lot of states were doing the the stay at home order, uh, so. It it uh, what it did was it it was it allowed me to uh, people to do a a trial run. You know, you, uh, there were 13 applicants uh, for um, that 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 reached out to me. Um, so it was it was a really interesting and a, and a great opportunity for me to actually find the right type of person. Um, and the great part about the the web intern option is. It allows people to become cash positive to really launch the business. So it's it's allowing them to find you know prove proof um, you know proof of concept of of finding the right person and making sure that this is the right business for them. And if it doesn't work out in that first ninety days, well then you both know uh, that it's just not a good fit. And then because they can duplicate. You know, you can you can duplicate with them. You can now duplicate through them as well when they launch. Uh, so having another, um, you know, um, uh, holding more interns and working with those those interns is a great way to duplicate uh, their business. So, uh, Jason, that's uh, that's what I got for today. Um, I really, hopefully that was uh, that was helpful. Um, so I'll, I'll send it back to you. No, that was fantastic. Um, thank you so much for sharing the story. I think uh, if anyone else listening here is taking notes, I, I took a lot of notes as you were uh, going through your overview. And you know, a couple things stood out to me. Um, one is the fact that you uh, put yourself in a situation or in a position to network. And that's where, the, that's where this all came from, was a networking opportunity. And then it was a great cause. And through that, you built a relationship and the conversation started. It was very natural. So it wasn't a uh, cold call approach. It wasn't the intent uh, initially, but it was very organic. And through that, you've been able to really help this uh, organization, this association um, do what they need to do. And that's uh, get donations, get promotion, get some uh, exposure. Uh, and where they were a little bit uh, hesitant uh, to showcase themselves before. Now they're proud of their web presence, their digital marketing uh, footprint. Uh, and you were able to share other ways 
for them to take our technology, our platform, and build in other revenue streams such as the APN uh, widget. So again, it's always about doing what's best for the client and just knowing what all the tools are. And then you followed it up with this tool right here, the internship program. So you've been such a, a great testament to the program. Uh, you know, from first starting off and being in that position where you were unemployed saying, oh, geez, now I've got some time. I need to figure this out to just following the five C's and having some success, uh, being a Web Center challenge winner, then becoming a certified Web Center trainer and then continuing to do uh, the best you can as an account manager for your clients and, of course, growing your business. And now leveraging the internship program to build out the ABC pattern through that trial run process. And that's what this is. So what a great kind of uh, full overview of the Web Center division uh, in your story here. So thank you so much for, for sharing that with us. I think it's uh, important for a lot of new people to realize the depth and breadth of this division and what we have to offer for sure. So with that being said, do you have any final comments or tips or anything like that before we open up to the q a no i um you know i i did join a bni group um right right off the bat because i didn't know uh how to get myself out there and that was a great way to to also you know network as well and um because there there's so much in this division um i am not short of Things to talk about uh, during each of those <laughs> each of those meetings, um, you know. I, I have a series that I uh, uh, called more than a website, you know, uh, where I would just pick something out that that's inside the the platform and just talk a little bit about that each week. And there was always something to talk about because it is just more than than a website. Right. That's great. That all inclusive digital marketing solution and some of the other ancillary services. Um, and again, you've also uh, leveraged the tools, resources and trainings uh, for your benefit as well. So that helps as well. You don't have to curate all the content. We have it all available mm -hmm. for you. So congratulations on all your success, Dan. We're looking forward to seeing more great things uh, from you. Um, again, week 16 of the 2020 Web Center Olympics. We get just a few short weeks left. Um, we're going to have another case study uh, from a couple of uh, trainers and Web Center owners next week. And then we'll wrap it up in our final week before we tally up our contest winners. Uh, but I do want to uh, say thank you and I appreciate all of our trainers that have been able to provide um, some of their uh, tips and tricks and just uh, best practices out there uh, because you really are making it work and you're making it happen. Uh, you're not just talking the talk, you're, you're uh, walking the walk, so to speak. So thank you for your insight, mm -hmm. Dan. And what we'll do is we'll open up to the Q&A panel um, and see if anyone has any questions that we can answer tonight. 